This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and in this video we'll talk about the Peak Design Micro Clutch, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So as you can see, we've actually got two of these um, devices, which we'll get into in a minute. So this one is already on the camera and this is what comes in the box. So going over materials, this bracket is made of CNC machined aluminum. It's very durable and also it, it hasn't gotten too marked up yet. Typically when I deal with CNC, alum CNC machined aluminum, sometimes with travel wallets and stuff like that, it gets marked up pretty easily. But this is held up very well. And even if it does get marked up, it's not going to, you know, bend or break or anything like that. It's very durable. I'm very happy with the materials on this thing. And that's something that I've kind of grown to know Peak Design for. So nothing, you know, out of the ordinary here. Peak Design is using durable materials like always. So we do have um, a little bit of padding here on the bottom. So that's where your camera is going to rest. And then this here is the bottom. You got the nice little Peak Design logo there, but this little padding will make sure that this doesn't scuff up your camera bottom or anything like that. And then as you can see when it's on, you got the, the Peak Design part on the bottom there. So this strap is made of Hypalon, which is very durable, but also pretty light and comfortable. On the inside, which is where your hand's gonna go, you've got a nice little uh, microfiber like coating and there's a little bit of padding there. You can almost, I think you can kind of see it there, just a little bit of raised padding, which adds a little bit of comfort for your fingers. And again, it's also pretty lightweight. As you can see here, you can adjust the sizing here, which this one we've got sized down pretty tight. So depending on the size of your hands or how tight or loose you want it to fit, you can, um, adjust that to your liking. So that's the main piece there, but we do have a couple other pieces. We have this uh, tripod piece, which you can attach if you want to, but you don't have to. So it pops on like that with a magnet, and then you can slide it to where you need it to be for your specific tripod um, on your camera where the hole is. So that's where that one is on this camera. And if you're using this, you just use the longer screw, which is included. So these are stainless steel screws. So these aren't gonna corrode or anything like that, which is nice. But if you're not using this tripod mount, you use the smaller screw because you don't need as much depth. This, I should say that this is a Peak Design tripod mount, so you can use it with other Peak Design gear which is a nice inclusion if you are already using Peak Design, which if you're watching this video, there's a pretty good chance you know what Peak Design is. So maybe you have their um, travel tripod or something like that. This is just a little, um, I can't, I'm forgetting the name right now, but it goes on the, you know, the corner of your camera here. And they also include a little rubber thing here to make it so it doesn't bump up against your camera and scrape it up. Then also this little tool that helps you get it on there. So as you can see, these are two different pieces. This is the L bracket and this is the I bracket. So the L bracket is actually for cameras like this. So I had this one at home with me. I was testing it with my Fuji X-T3 and I left this I bracket one here and we just threw it on our, one of our Sonys we have here in the office. So this technically should have the L bracket, but as you can see, the I bracket will work with an L bracket. It just doesn't have that little bit of extra coverage there. And so it does kind of fall forward a little bit. And you see that same thing when you have this attached. I know I can't really attach it right now, but because it does have that little bit of extra length. If you have a longer lens, it will fall over a little bit, but nothing that really matters and you get used to it pretty quickly. It's not gonna like fall, fall. Um, one more thing to note is that these brackets do cover the battery door on most cameras. So you have to take this off to do it, but there is an integrated tool right here. It just pops off, let me pop it off there. So you can do it quickly and this just snaps back into place. So you're not gonna lo lose it with a magnet. So it's pretty quick and easy to do. It does. If you're shooting a lot or your battery doesn't have a have good lifespan, it might be annoying to you though. So when it comes to packability, this thing really doesn't add much to your camera. As you can see, it's a very small and just minimalist um, bracket there on the bottom. But when it comes down to uh, the mathematics of it, it adds, I believe it is 0.76 centimeters or 0.299 inches, which is as you can, I mean, it's, it's pretty much nothing. You're not really gonna notice it. I mean, maybe on a really small camera you might, and then you have a little bit of addition on this, but that folds down pretty small. So that's not really going to get in your way. So the I bracket will add 51 grams or 1.8 ounces, and the L bracket here will add 60 grams or 2.11 ounces. The tripod mount will add, you know, a few extra grams, but there's, I mean, it's really just not that much. So that really shouldn't influence whether you're gonna use it or not. And something I forgot to mention earlier is you do have this little eye 
on the back here so you can attach um, different things to that if you want to or uh, peak design anchor point or something like that so it really comes down to it it's not you're not gonna be like oh wow that's too heavy or that adds too much height to my camera it really just comes down to whether or not this design works for you it you know put two fingers in there and then you still have your uh, your shutter finger that's available and you can use it i don't love how this feels but there really isn't another great option for cameras that are as small as this especially if you're using like a um, x100 or something like that it just makes it that much more comfortable and easy to kind of walk around without worrying about dropping your camera and you don't need like a big neck strap i just don't really love wearing those for the most part they're just kind of bulky so just being able to slip my fingers in there and go is a really nice feeling to me so there you have it the peak design micro clutch thanks for keeping it here at pack hacker your guy just smarter travel we'll see you in the next one